What if centuries before Newton, there was a man quietly toying with infinity, and his name almost slipped into oblivion? By the turn of the 15th century, Madhava of Sangamagrama had begun to shatter the boundaries of ancient mathematics. He did not simply calculate, he dared to imagine infinity. He discovered infinite series expansions for trigonometric functions like sine, cosine, and arctangent, ideas that would only reappear in Europe hundreds of years later. He is thus credited with the so-called Madhava series. Even more daringly, he used those series to approximate pi with astonishing accuracy, reportedly reaching 11 decimal places of precision. His methods included correction terms, additions to the truncated series that improved accuracy, showing he understood, in a primitive form, the error inherent in truncating infinite sums. Through these breakthroughs, Madhava laid the foundation of mathematical analysis, the transition from purely finite classical math to thinking about limits, convergence, and infinity itself. He became the founding spirit of the Kerala School of Mathematics and Astronomy, whose later scholars preserved, extended, and defended his vision for centuries. But who was this man before his genius? To understand him, we look back to a child gazing at stars. Madhava was born in Sangamagrama, in present-day Kerala, sometime around 1340 to 1350 CE. Though precise records of his schooling are lost to time, tradition paints a vivid image. As a boy, he would lie on large stone slabs in temple courtyards at night, eyes fixed on the moon and planets, tracing their silent arcs across the sky. Some of those same stones remain in Kerala, preserved as monuments to memory. In his later years, Madhava turned this cosmic wonder into disciplined work. He authored astronomical treatises such as Vevroha, which compute the true positions of the moon in fine intervals, and Sphuokandrapti, another lunar calculation method. Unfortunately, many of his original mathematical works are lost. The Kerala school flourished for at least two centuries after him, producing thinkers like Parmeshvara, Nilkantha Samyaji, Jayashtadeva, and others who expanded his infinite series methods, refined astronomical models, and even anticipated integration and differentiation in nascent form. Madhava likely passed away around 1425 CE, leaving behind an echo of brilliance whispered through time. Now pause for a moment. Imagine a scholar in 14th century Kerala, without telescopes, without printing presses, without global communication, daring to think about summing infinitely many terms. That he succeeded, and that we now call many of his formulas modern, is a triumph across centuries. The shock is that his name was almost forgotten. It is only in the last century that historians have resurrected his story, correcting the record. Take Pi. European mathematicians rediscovered similar series in the 17th century. But Madhava had done it two to three centuries earlier. He didn't stop at giving the series. He also furnished error estimates, or correction terms, that allowed his approximations to converge faster and more accurately. That level of insight is rare even today, and his influence persists. The methods he sowed enabled later Kerala mathematicians to refine trigonometric tables, model planetary and lunar motions more accurately, and build a mathematical tradition that sat, in parallel, to European developments. Beyond mathematics, though, there is poetry, a man listening to the universe's rhythms, then daring to transcribe them into infinite sums. That intersection of wonder and discipline is the heart of Madhava's legacy, and perhaps his greatest gift to humanity. He was a dreamer and a reasoner. He looked at moonlit skies and said, there must be a way to sum the unending, a path to peeling back infinity. And in doing so, he lit a torch for all who follow. So next time you write pi equals 3.14159, or apply a trigonometric identity, remember, you re standing on the shoulders of a 14th century scholar from Kerala who whispered to the infinite and insisted we listen. If you enjoyed this story, hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell. For behind every theorem is a soul wrestling with wonder and doubt.